times in algebra, we have two brackets next to each other. This means that everything in the first bracket is multiplied by everything in the second bracket. To expand these brackets, we use a simple method. We call this eyebrow, eyebrow, nose and chin. This shows us which terms we need to multiply together and it is easy to remember as it makes the expression look like a face. So if we had open brackets x add 3 close brackets and open brackets x add 4 close brackets we would start with the first eyebrow which is the first term in the first bracket multiplied by the first term in the second bracket. So we have x multiplied by x, which is x squared. Then we need to multiply the second term in the first bracket by the second term in the second bracket to get the second eyebrow. In this case, we have positive 3 multiplied by positive 4, which gives us positive 12. The nose is made from multiplying the second term in the first bracket by the first term in the second bracket. 3 multiplied by x is 3x. And lastly, the chin is made from the first term in the first bracket and the second term in the second bracket. x multiplied by 4 is 4x. Now we have expanded the brackets to make an expression. You may have noticed that this expression can be simplified. We can add the like terms of 3x and 4x together to make 7x. So we have x squared add 12 add 7x. Normally, with this type of expression, we write the terms in a specific order. We start with the term containing the variable squared. This is followed by the term containing a variable with no power and the term consisting of a number is last. So our final answer will be x squared add 7x add 12. Here is another example. If we had open brackets a add 2 close brackets, multiplied by open brackets a add 4 close brackets, we can expand these brackets using eyebrow, eyebrow, nose and chin. To find the answer, we first multiply a and a to get a squared. Then we multiply 2 and 4, which gives us 8. Next up, we have 2 multiplied by a, which is 2a. And lastly, a multiplied by 4, which is 4a. We add 2a and 4a together to make 6a and rearrange the expression to get the final answer of a squared add 6a add 8. Have a go at this yourself by expanding these brackets using eyebrow, eyebrow, nose and chin. Pause while you think about the answer. Here is the answer.
Sometimes the terms inside double brackets are negative. For example, open bracket C subtract 6 close bracket multiplied by open bracket C subtract 4 close bracket. Using eyebrow, eyebrow, nose and chin to expand these brackets, we start by multiplying C and C, which gives us C squared. Then, as the subtraction signs give us negative terms, we need to multiply negative 6 and negative 4. Two negatives make a positive, so we get positive 24. Then, we multiply negative 6 by C, which gives us negative 6C. And finally, C multiplied by negative 4, which is negative 4C. We can simplify this expression by adding together negative 6C and negative 4C to get negative 10C. Then, we rearrange the expression to get the final answer of c squared subtract 10c add 24. You might have double brackets that have a mixture of positive and negative terms. For example, open bracket d add 8 close brackets multiplied by open bracket d subtract 2 close brackets. We start by multiplying d and d to get d squared. Then we multiply 8 and negative 2 which gives us negative 16. Next up we multiply positive 8 and d to get positive 8d. And finally, we have d multiplied by negative 2, which is negative 2d. We can simplify 8d and negative 2d by adding them together to get 6d. Then, we rearrange the expression to get the final answer of d squared add 6d subtract 16. Have a go at expanding these brackets. Pause while you find the answers. Here are the answers. Here is a summary on what we have learnt about expanding double brackets. We expand double brackets by multiplying terms from both brackets using the pattern eyebrow, eyebrow, nose and chin. We can simplify the expression by adding together like terms. We rearrange the expression so our final answer starts with a term containing a variable squared followed by a term containing a variable with no power followed by a number.